Hello and welcome to a short tutorial video showing you how to do matrices using the online keyboard and the handwrite math tool to show you're working on the Revision Village website. So to look at this we've just chosen a system of linear equations question which we might use matrices uh, in Gaussian elimination to find a solution. So first of all we'll look at using matrices with the online keyboard and if I go into the answer box and select type math I have a box where I can enter an answer with a keyboard icon at the end. So I could click on the keyboard icon and the fifth menu along is the menu for matrices. When I select that I get six different options for types of matrices and they're all shown here as two by two matrices but they are editable. So I'm going to choose the third one along which is the square bracket matrix and when I click that a two by two matrix appears in my answer box. What I do want is a matrix with three rows because I want one row for each of my equations and I want this matrix also to have four columns because I want a column for each of the coefficients of x, y and z and a fourth column for what those equations are equal to. So in the uh, row at the top of this matrix edit box I could press the plus and if I press that twice you'll see that is now increased to a matrix with four columns and on the left hand side if I press the plus button I have now increased that to a matrix that has four columns and three rows and now I can just use my keyboard to enter in my coefficients so in the top row I would have one two negative two and four in the second row I would have three five negative four and nine and in the third row I have four six a and b so that's just showing using the online keyboard how we can create a matrix and how we can increase or decrease the number of columns and the number of rows and enter our elements. Now we'll have a look at doing the same thing with the handwrite math tool. So if we just click on the handwrite math tool, I'll just delete this first. If we click on the handwrite math tool, you see here that a piece of paper appears at the bottom of the screen. And what I can do here is just type a matrix directly onto the piece of paper or write it directly onto the piece of paper and it will appear. And just note as I do this things are going to appear in the answer box. So I've just put a big square bracket which the calculator, uh, the sorry the computer is recognized as a one. But once I get through the process it will intuitively recognize what I'm doing. So if I type in my first row which would be one, two, negative two, four and my second row which is three, five, negative four, nine and my third row which is 4, 6, A, B. Just pausing there for a minute you'll see the calculator still hasn't quite recognized what I'm doing, the computer, but as soon as I put the square bracket at the end of that it will recognize that I'm doing a 4 by 3 matrix and it's automatically come into shape with all of the correct coefficients in there. Something that's common with a system of linear equations is to perform row operations. So at this point I might want to do a row operation row 2 minus 3 row 1 to give me a new row 2 which would create a 0 in the first cell of that second row. So what I could do here on my piece of paper is I could draw an arrow next to my matrix which you'll see has appeared here and then above this arrow I could write row 2 minus 3 row 1 is going to be my new row 2. And you'll see that's appeared here in my answer box just, just quite nicely so I could then put in my next line of working from there. And that's just to help the AI uh, recognize what we're trying to write and show, show it nicely. So that's just a quick video showing how we could use a matrix by typing in using the online keyboard and also just by using the handwriting math tool with the piece of paper and we could also extend that to doing some sort of row operation with that.